Uh, good evening. I apologize. I do not have a lot of time this evening, so this one is going to be uh, a little quicker than usual. I'm also in my vehicle, so the lighting is not as good, but I wanted to give you all a couple of examples in case anybody got stuck um, on tonight's homework. <clears throat> Um, so what we're doing is we are finding equations of lines that are either parallel or perpendicular uh, to a given line and that uh, run through a certain point. Okay, So what you guys need to remember or memorize or, or keep in mind is that this equation, y equals mx plus b. You're going to need to commit this to memory because you're going to use it twice when solving these problems. Okay, So... What, you, what I would do is get in the habit of going ahead and writing out the equation of a line. So the equation of a line, it's always got an X in it, always has a Y in it, and then it, over here it will more than likely have um, a constant in it as well, a number without a variable. So all we're doing with these problems is just determine, figuring out what the slope is and what the Y intercept. That's it. So there's just two things. Okay, and the way that we do that, we first determine the slope. And we determine the slope by looking here. Again, I apologize about the light. So we look at the slope of the line that's parallel to this line. So the slope of this line is going to be negative 3. So go ahead and write down m equals negative 3. Okay. So this is going to be our x and this is going to be our y. I'm just going to write x and y. So we can go ahead and put our negative 3 in here for m. Okay, so it's going to be negative 3. Now all we have to do is figure out what b is. Okay? To determine what b is, we use the same equation. Okay, we use this equation for the second time. Go ahead and write that out. Okay. So we have three values here, one, two, three, and we've got four variables here. And when we plug one, two, three variables or values in for these variables, we'll be able to solve for b. So y is negative six. So we've got negative six equals m is negative three times x is negative four plus b. And then we just solve this equation for b and plug it in right there. So negative three times negative four is 12 plus b, okay, so we'll subtract 12, subtract 12, that cancels, okay, so b is negative 18, and so that will be minus 18, and I'll just rewrite it to make it look better, y equals negative 3x minus 18, okay, all right, so then this last one, I'll kind of move it over here, might be able to see a little bit better. Possibly. Okay. All right, so now we need to find slope of line that is perpendicular to this line. Now, remember, in order to determine slope of this line, um, we need to put it in slope intercept form, which means we need to solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and first go ahead and put final equation there that we're going to be plugging m and b into for our final answer. So to solve for y, we subtract 2x. I'm just going to go ahead and switch these two around. Okay, that cancels. 2y equals, when I switch them around, negative 2x minus 3. Okay. Then to get y by itself, we divide everything by 2. And we're going to get y equals negative x minus 3 over 2. Okay. So the equation of this, or I'm sorry, the slope of this line is going to be negative 1. So we need to find the slope of the line that's perpendicular to that. So we take the negative reciprocal of negative 1. The negative reciprocal of negative 1 is positive 1. Because if we have negative 1 as a fraction, and we flip it, it becomes, and we change the sign, it becomes positive 1. Okay, so... We know that 1 is going to be right here. And that's actually just going to disappear in our final answer. And so now we have x, y, and then m equals 1. And so we're going to plug those three values into the equation 
to solve for B, and then we'll plug B back in. So we've got, again, go ahead and write out our equation. Okay, uh, we've got Y is 4, M is 1, and X is 2. Plus B, okay. And so 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, we subtract 2. That is going to leave us with 2 for B. And so now we just plug 2 into here. So our final answer is going to be y equals x plus 2. All right, so those are two examples. Again, I apologize about the lighting, but I wanted to get a couple in for you in case you all had any questions. Um, all right.